Hi, my name is Mike Piatecomenez, and today I'm going to be talking about upgrading our internet connection. Now, with COVID-19, a lot of us have been spending a whole lot more time at home. And for our family, that means that people are going to be doing a lot of video conferencing, they're going to be, the kids are going to be streaming videos, and I'm going to be doing work with, uh, with uploading builds and, and doing my own conferencing. Uh, it's it's gotten to be a lot and our connection at home has kind of struggled because of that. So earlier this week I, I gave Spectrum a call and said, hey, can I bump up to your next uh, next higher connection? And in our situation, that meant going uh, to a 400 megabit down and 20 megabit up, uh, which was a good bump in speed. I mean, the actually for us, the, the bigger is, is, the, uh, is the upload speed, just because when you're doing on a conference call, and I'm trying to upload a build, or uh, if if I'm recording a video like this, and I I use Backblaze for online backups, it can take days to upload that video to have it stored in the cloud. Uh, if if I lose track of it here, so so yeah, the 20 megabit up is actually a much bigger change in my eyes. Um, but uh, the 400 megabit down really is is a huge improvement when when loading web pages and stuff, everything just snaps in a pit place so quickly. The problem is, is that when upgrading to that speed, we didn't really get 400 megabits. We only were sitting around 260 to 275 when I was doing a speed test. And I traced that down to actually our router here, which was not fast enough to, to handle it. Now this is the Zywall 110 and it is supposed to be able to be fast enough to, to do a full gigabit uh, of filtered packets. Um, but in the end, that's really not the case. And I wasn't able to really track it down to anything in particular. It just wasn't quick enough to keep up. So I used the opportunity to go through and actually switch uh, to a PFSense router. And the reason I was able to do this so quickly was because I had a, a 2012 Mac Mini that was hosted uh, at a data center up until, I don't know, six months ago. And this was a backup server for uh, my, my weather software, Seasonality. And it was working really well for, for the longest time. And finally, I just got to the point where I'm just like, okay, it's time to, to take this out of service and, and upgrade it with something new. And so I have a 2018 Mac Mini going in its place. Um, but when I brought it home, I was I figured out like, hey, I still have VMware ESXi installed on here, and I'm very familiar with uh, with virtualizing PFSense inside VMware. So I thought, you know what, this is perfect. It it only has one uh, gigabit uh, port on the back, but I had a Thunderbolt uh, Ethernet adapter and I was able to plug that in and get it up and running uh, in less than a day. So, um, so yeah, you can, can't really see it too well back here, but I'll kind of show it. Um, it's just in the back, it's on a shelf. I have a couple of cords plugged in, or wires plugged in, and it just, it, it just works really well. Um, the one drawback is that there aren't as many LAN ports as something like on the Zywall. On the Zywall, I had uh, tons of ports here uh, that I can put uh, everything on, on separate LANs. Um, and, but since I've been moving to more of a VLAN setup, I now have just that one port for the, the LAN, and that's a trunk port. Uh, it hosts all the VLANs, including the DMZ that I have. Now, the DMZ is, is for a, a couple of servers here that I, I host where uh, it's like doing uh, monitoring and so forth of, other, of the other servers I run. Um, and I want that to be isolated on its own part of the network um, just in case it's, it's, it's somehow broken into. Um, and I don't like that being on a VLAN as much and so that's one drawback to this situation. But, but in the end, it, I think it's, I mean overall it should be fine. And uh, I, I think that so far it's worked out so well that, that I don't think it's going to be an issue. Now, for, as far as setup's concerned, I mean, the, the uh, Mac Mini has uh, tons of processing power for it. Uh, it was able to do the 400 megabits and still only be using 25% of the CPU. Um, and so it has a lot of room to grow in, in that respect. 
Um, the other nice thing is that since I'm running VMware on it, I can also put other virtual machines on there. Now, for security reasons, I don't want to put a whole lot on there. I'd rather keep that on, on these servers here uh, that are fully isolated and not in any way hardware connected to the, to the, the wide area network. Uh, but for some circumstances, such as something like uh, I run uh, Pi-hole for, for, uh, as a DNS server for, for ad blocking, and right now I have a couple of them on the, the same uh, VMware server here, what I really would like to do is move at least one of those VMs over to the Mac Mini. Um, it's providing a network service that, that is, is pretty low risk, and, uh, and isn't really hosting anything else. And that way, if I have to reboot this server for any reason, we don't knock out DNS for the whole house. So, um, so yeah, that's one thing that I'm looking forward to doing uh, 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 coming up here soon. As far as setup was concerned, I, I really, I've had this router for a long time. And so it is gonna take me a little while to get everything set up in PFSense the same way. Um, this is, uh, I, I was able to set up all the VLANs and stuff uh, yesterday, and that's all working really well. Um, what I haven't finished setting up yet is the VPNs. I, I have VPNs to each of my servers, uh, and as well as a couple for management interfaces. Um, and so I'm still in the process of, of doing that switch. Now, like I said, the only drawback really is that I don't have that many LAN ports. And so uh, in the future, I probably will try to get some kind of router, maybe running PFSense uh, or maybe uh, something from Microtik, um, to just to, to have those extra LAN ports and to make it a little bit more flexible. Um, it's it's hard to say, but but for the time being, this is working really well. The performance is really good. It's using a, a, a computer that I wouldn't be using otherwise, um, and so it's a win-win. Thanks for joining me in this, uh, in this video. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to hit the like below. If you have any questions for my setup um, or, or how I configured uh, PFSense, uh, drop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more tech videos like this or I also do photography videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.